Hello everybody, my name is Emily. I am a citizen from heaven and I am here to tell you about my testimony of how my life was changed by something that is not a theory, by something that is not a, just a religion or a tradition, but by something that is real, that is real in my life. I am the true testimony that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You know, I was raised in a Protestant home. My parents used to be leaders at Protestant church, and my father presented to me the gospel when I was six years and a half. I remember that this day, when I received Jesus uh, in my heart and I made the decision and I said yes to my father that I wanted to know Jesus and uh, accept him as my Lord and Savior and I wanted him to clean me from my sins and to be a new creature. I remember that I had a beautiful dream, you know, this very night I received Jesus in my heart and in this dream I was alone in a road. In this road, this road was dark and had many stones. But you know, uh, suddenly I saw something behind me, like a big, white, amazing light that was coming to me. And I couldn't see who this person was that was walking to me. I didn't, I didn't understand why it was so shiny, you know? And then I saw only one hand. That, that was all I see because the, 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 the dress or or, or the clothes of, of this person that was coming to me were so white, so shiny. And I see this hand that came to me and took my hand and I perceived in my heart that this was Jesus. And he told me, look at this road. Look, you will never again be alone. You will never again be by yourself. You will have me next to you. And I remember how he took my hand and we started walking and i felt so safe so happy so amazing because i had jesus by my side it was like him and i we were one in this moment and i remember i saw the road and the road had rocks had different things and it was a small road but i felt so good and so safe because he was by my side you know and at the end of the road, I saw a heavenly, beautiful, like made of gold and a thousand precious, marvelous stones city. It was so beautiful. It was like heaven. And Jesus told me, we will get there. We will be there, you know. And from that moment, my life got real sense and real meaning. And I was born again. Because you know, when human being is born, is, is born with a spirit, but a spirit is dead. Because this spirit is the way that human being communicates to God. But if you are born again, then your spirit is new and you have new life, you know? One uh, in the Bible says that one old man, that he knew everything about the Bible, he was a teacher of his time. And this man came to Jesus, his name is, uh, was called Nicodemus. And this name came to Jesus. And when he came to Jesus, he asked him, what do I have to receive salvation? And Jesus told him, you need to be born again. And this is something that is so big, so amazing, and it's so important in our lives, you know? Because it's by this way that we can receive real salvation in our life. We try to do many things. I don't know you, but me, I try to fill my life with good things. I see that here in Poland, people do very good things. People is always active, always doing many things, good things. They go to church, they have many traditions. But you know what? Traditions, a good lifestyle, feeling good in your body, or, or just, just a, a lot of education, or having a lot of money, cannot cannot save you you need jesus you need to receive him and believe in him as your lord and savior believe that he died on the cross for you two thousand years ago to give you salvation to give you a new a new life just like me but you can tell me oh yes i am safe i am a daughter of god i am a son of god because i go to church look at me i do everything as it is supposed to be done 
I am a good person and I go to heaven. And I can tell you, you know what? I was also in a church for many years. I used to go to church every Sunday. I was part of the choir singing beautiful songs. I was leader. I was the model girl in church, you know? But this doesn't mean the fact that you're going to church every Sunday, the fact that you follow traditions, that you go to confess to, to, this, to this person in church, or you go to pray to a, a big uh, statue in church, and that you feel like you have a connection to God. That's, that's just tradition. Going to church, doing many things, that, that doesn't bring salvation. What brings real salvation is Jesus. His name is Jesus, and you know what? These are just big news because he's not only going to save you and give you eternal life after you die. You will go to heaven. You don't need to worry because you will be saved. You will go to heaven. Have you thought about your life, your eternal life? Have you thought about where you will go after you die? Well, he will give you eternal life. And not just that. He will set you free and he will heal you. He has healed me, you know? I, I was with a, a problem in my breathing that I couldn't breathe, breathe very well. I used to get very tired and I cannot breathe very well before, but he set me free and now I can breathe normally. And that's just one of them. I also suffer from a, a sciatic nerve, you know, and that you have a lot of pain in your leg and you cannot be standing up in a long time because you have a lot of pain. He also restored me and healed me from that. I had a lot of... Uh, problems with my nerves you know and he healed me from that many times he is my healer because he paid the price on the cross not only for me to be saved but also for me to be healed jesus is here today the kingdom of heaven is here we are here jesus is here if you want to be healed come and receive your healing if you want to be saved cry out to jesus and say jesus i believe in you and i confess that you're my lord and savior that you can forgive my sins and i believe that you resurrected and i want to be born again for you and you will be saved. If you want to know more about this testimony, if you want to know more about this real life and salvation, I invite you to come and talk to us, or you can go to Facebook, to our Facebook pages. We are Koshal Motze, or Church of Power. You can find us in Facebook, okay? We are also Arthur and Agatha Seronsky Ministries. You can go to Facebook and find us, uh, send us a private message. We'll be, we will be glad to talk to you. Amen.